This is part four of my little workshop. This is Spjorn from Cujo Sound. And finally, I'm getting to the fun part of this. I'm getting to where I want to add effects to sounds and how I want to control them with my MIDI Nord Modular, which I've connected. At first, there's actually a huge bug right here because all my sounds are going to be in mono. So we're going to have to change all this and we're going to actually delete all the channels so that we only have one channel left and then we can see how it works with the VST. Okay, so let's start by deleting all these stereo interfaces. By doing so and having this to be a regular SF play object and not an SF play with two outputs. A good way to know if there's actually coming sound out of any object is by placing this object called meter. It's a regular VU meter. Um, you can place it however you want and, and, and in many different ways. And let's delete this one here and let's add something there. You can see, let's open up that, turn on the sound turn up the volume well we can't hear anything because I didn't attach it to the output but you can see there's clearly coming something through um, it can be quite annoying to work with a huge patch and suddenly there's no sound but with these meters you can see where does the sound start and where does it actually stop now we're gonna add some signal treatment to this signal coming out of the SF play object um, maybe some of you are familiar with the plugin called deep blue glitch but Deep Blue also provides everything in Deep Blue Glitch. They provide it uh, individually, so you can get plugins like that. And a good way to start is to know which plugins to use and put them in the folder where you saved your max patch. See, I put this Deep Blue, Deep Blue Stretch and the Deep Blue Tape Stop DLL. Um, but that's one way to start. And so you make a VST plugin and you name it which one you want to load so there we got it so there we got it you see input and secondary input once you open up a VST plugin like this you get a list in your max window of all the controllers it's got all the parameters um, and you must pay quite good attention to how they're spelled. You see grain size with a capital G and a capital S. If you don't spell it the same way, it won't work. It won't work at all. Now, I know this trigger, it's only triggered between um, 0 and 126. So once you send a value lower than 126, it'll just be off. So what we got to do, I want this to be, let's say, key number 36, as we got up here. I want that to start my plugin so it's triggered. We can do that by making a new object called multiply. And let's say 127. So whatever you put in your left input is, is, um, is times 127, and it comes out there. So if we do like this, we can test this by putting in a number box, just pressing I. And then you can see. If I hit the butt, if I hit key number 36, um, the leftmost key on my keyboard, it comes out 127 and 0, 127 and 0. Good. You make a message box named the name of the parameter. And then a really nice feature is that you can write dollar one. Dollar one means that the first number that comes into max is to be put here. So now we're basically sending information that we want the parameter trigger to have the value of whatever number comes into it. So if we send this to the VST plugin, so if we send our scaled output, send these outputs to, to the output, we open up any sound file. Let's just pick this number 11 here. Turn on the audio, turn up the volume. This is output two, put it there. And let's just make this thing loop here. Now it's coming out of both outputs. So if I press key number 36 on my keyboard, it should start stretching. Good. And we're
we're gonna have these controllers here coming in here with my four knobs on my node modular we're gonna have to use these to control some of these other you know the ratio the multiplier and the grain size you can this is this can be really interesting so we do the same thing we just don't have to multiply it by 127 so we make a message box here and it was grain size dollar one if you forget the parameter names or you you simply lose your max window here if by by clearing it a really simple way is to take a message and send the name params you can make a print object you can have these parameter names sent there by clicking the params you see the ones we want to control was grain size, the multiplier, and the ratio. So let's make some other ones of these. So what we can do now is that we can trigger, we can turn on the Deep Blue Stretch plugin and we can control these three parameters. We're gonna press play. And we're gonna turn it on and turn some of the knobs. You can see what happens. Now, that didn't sound quite right, but if you click your plugin here, you can get all the parameters and you can actually this is actually the plugin what it does uh, the thing is that when I turn these knobs let's say we're, we're turning the grain size here nothing really happens and as you can see it's completely maxed out here in the window the thing is that that this does not interpret a signal between 0 and 126 this interprets a signal between 0 and 1 because it's meant for automation um, so what we got to do is we got to make this number go from 0 to 126 to make it go from 0 to 1 in floating points. And we can do that by putting in an object called scale. It just scales whatever value you put into it. Scale. Which number do we get in? We get from 0 to 126. And we want it to be scaled from 0 point to 1 point. So if we put in here, let's just say we do the, the thing with the grain size here. In here, out there, and into this, we get, if I turn the grain size, we get this smooth ride here. So if we do this with all, all three parameters, Good. So if we start playing music now, we could turn on the plugin and then we can control all these parameters. So let's try this out. And especially by looking at the plugin at the same time. See, that works really well. Now we're gonna have that on all tracks possible so that just as many outputs we have on our sound card, we want this and we want an individual plugin on each so that we can control each part.